Ah. Guys, this is a tarp tent set up using the three by three meters DD tarp, guys. And this is tarpology. Stay tuned. And these are hailstones. <laughs> Dog Bruno. Yes, guys. The DD tarp tent or the tarp tent. Uh, we have all seen it, guys. It's uh, it is. It's brilliant, okay? All I'm gonna be using is a three by three DD tarp. I have a couple of pegs here. I just dropped one. I think I have about eight pegs, okay? I think that's enough. Guys, and I have two walking poles, okay? I'm gonna show you two different setups, okay? They're very, very similar, okay? And very easy to do. One only uses one pole, and the other one uses two poles. Now, here's the thing. If you don't have poles, you can use sticks, it's just a wee bit more fiddly, okay? First thing you want to do, I'm going to get my tarp. I'm going to lay it out, okay? And I want my ridge seam running straight towards you guys, okay? So I want it at the back, heading straight to the front. And there's a reason for that. Quite windy today guys, so my ridge seam, where I'm going to peg this out, is going straight into the wind. So my door is facing completely away from the wind. So what I'm going to do very quickly before the wind picks up again guys, is this is my corner, okay. I'm going to put a peg in here. So I'm stepping in one loop and I'm putting in a peg. I'm going to step in one again and put in another peg. What I want to do then is I want to move back to my corner. My corner, I'm going to step in one to here and I'm going to peg this out. I'm going to tuck that under. I'm just going to do exactly the same here, okay? So I'm just going to tuck that under, like this. I'm going to peg this out. We're doing this just in time. It's starting to rain. And guys, you can see this starting to take shape already. So this center line, guys, my ridge line here, this is where my door is going to be, okay? So I have to create the space for my door. So I'm going to go back to my corner again, okay? This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this corner tab over to just past the first one. Okay, you can put it there if you want, you can put it here. Guys, it's about adjusting this and finding what's right for you, okay? I'm going to pull it tight. There's my first, first tab there, so I'm just going to move it in past it and I'm going to peg it. Going to do exactly the same on the other side. So what that has done, guys, you can see the center line running down here. Okay, that has created the space for us to lift up the tarp. Okay and turn it in, into a tarp tent, okay? So this is where the walking poles come in. You know, don't, don't you go on there. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go in on, underneath, right? I'm gonna use this flat section of my walking pole. And what we have here on these tired points, guys, on these tabs, is that underneath each one of these tabs is reinforced, okay? So that's why you're used, that's why you run it on this way, so that you can use the reinforced part of the tabs. Uh, you know as extra protection guys these are quite soft anyway now if you're not happy with that guys get a hat put it over it tennis ball half tennis ball anything like that okay what do you think Bruno what are you people say to me what are you so crazy talking to dogs and I say we're not too far
gonna uh, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna tie off this and fold it back like this and do the same the other side but this is where the extra pegs come in guys so what I'm gonna do right is I'm gonna peg this this section out here okay so when I put this peg in pull it out nice and far okay what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna tie this onto it okay just like this couple of half hitches guys do the job and do the same on the other side what I want to do with this is I want to pull this out nice and far away okay keep it in line with my pole and everything at the back just tie this off And that, guys, is a tarp tent with a three by three DD tarp with one pole. Now let's look at the two pole way. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna peg it in here on the corner. Okay, so everything else is the same. You're just pegging your tarp in on the corner. in on the corner like this and do the same the other side like so now what that does is it gives me a little bit more material in here to work with just in the center and I'll show you why that's important so once again you're going to crawl in with your second pole guys and you're gonna go and you're gonna push it up uh, and pull out my peg at the back guys but look you, you get the idea just pull out my peg at the back guys look you can put a rope on here you know really guys you can put a rope on here and what that'll do is that will take out any slack or anything that's in it just especially if the weather gets really really bad guys thanks for watching Dear Frosty.